Bob Comic followers. Today we will be reviewing uh, our first articulated action figure. I mean, technically, last one's had her. Anyway, it's, uh, it's an action figure review, finally. And today we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Shredder Battle Damage. This is by NECA. Uh, I actually do like their toys a lot. I have, I recently got a Super Shredder from Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Use, which I will be reviewing sometime. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the box for now. Um, got a big old window display. I like it when they have window displays. Uh, see all the accessories. Looks like he comes with a bunch of different hands. Figure itself. Switchable head. Uh, thermite grenade. Uh, another gauntlet. Here we have some art of the helmet on the side with the NECA logo. logo. And it looks pretty good. Uh, on the back, we have a couple like comic panels and whatnot. Comic panel style product shots. We have Meanwhile, as in like a comic book aesthetic. Him facing this way, him without his helmet. Him looking like he's about to throw the grenade. Him looking like he's blocking or lunging at someone. And to be continued. And I like how they show the rest of the characters in the line. So we got a foot soldier, Casey Jones, and the Shredder clones. And on here we just have some art of him. Alrighty, let's get this guy out of the package. Alrighty, sir, if you can hear a podcast in the background, my dad's watching a podcast. Anyway, so we are just gonna get this guy open for you all. Because he's Sigma. Sigmata. Get out! Alrighty. Let's gently pull him out of his packaging that did not sound gentle but we'll just go with it all right put this here oh this is a no thing holding them in yeah here is out of the packaging a lot less tight than i thought he'd be if i'm being honest oh uh, but yeah uh let's get all of his all of his accessories out of here What this tape? Bro, what? Alrighty, so first we're going to take a look at his sculpt, and I gotta say, I am impressed. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really take that much to impress me, but then again, he's really cool. So, we can see he has a very good sculpt. Like, you can see all the wrinkles in his uniform. They even sculpted the tears and rips, and even the cuts in his battle damage. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I wish they would have put a little more battle damage on his backside, because from the backside, it looks like a normal shredder. I mean... You know what I mean? Like, sure, there's this little guy. You know what I mean? Just to could use a little more battle damage. Maybe like a scuffed helmet or like a couple more slices back here. Poop stain. I don't know. Just like, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, his uh, sculpt is pretty good. His uh, spikes are really floppy, floppier than Joe Biden's Willy Glizzy. And I actually noticed when I first got him, it's like, there's no blades right here same with this or was it this one yeah, no same with here too isn't that strange all right let us get to his friggin well we looked at the figure oh yeah articulation what the heck crikey let's get to his articulation bro shut up anyway his arms can move out about that much Yes, it's not that impressive, but then again, I highly doubt you want Shredder in a bunch of Spider-Man poses. Uh, looks like he has a double-jointed elbow. They can move that much. Arms cannot swivel. They can only swivel this much back, this much forward. His head is kind of is a mixed package because it has like this on the bottom end, but it also has a ball joint on the top. So you actually get a lot of really good articulation in the head you can look up a decent amount but you also look down very well uh head swivels really good turns side to side 360 you know what i'm saying as feet he has toe action 
for all of you fans of Shredder that for all of you fans that love toes. Oh, his legs can go out this much. He has a waist cut or like waist swivel. His leg can go out this much. Can go back the this much. Double jointed knee. He can barely, just barely kick his own butt. And uh, yeah, very, very tight a boot swivel, I noticed. And of course, we got the bicep swivel. And his hands can bend this way and that way. Pretty standard hand movement. Now, let's take a look at his accessories. So first off, we got this damaged uh, wrist gauntlet from his armor and for those of you who may think oh what's what's that for and you're like oh does it click on and no it doesn't click on and that's because it's not like an accessory to the figure it's just like a cool accessory because at the end of the comic this is all that remains of the shredder after the thermite grenade blows up because spoiler for anyone who hasn't read the original comic at the end he pulls out a thermite grenade and tries blowing them up, but then they like throw him off the side of a building and he dies, and this is all that's left. Or he comes back, but like it's very confusing. Anyway, so that's that. And then we have this cool battle damage unmasked head sculpt, and he looks very upsetty spaghetti to say the least. Uh, he appears to be crying blood in this one eye, not really in my this eye, his blood stains here. Very nice hair sculpt. It's pretty Sigma, I've got to cut my nails. Uh yeah, skin color, or like peach color peg, so you can click it into the figure, but I noticed it does chip off. I did get this off eBay, so lol. Same articulation as that head. Actually, I'll show you now. Unlike Marvel Legends, they actually pop out at the neck and not at the head. So it's just as simple as you put the thing in the hole, pause. And yeah, it's that simple. Now he looks even more battle damaged because he's Sigma. What? Alright, let's put him aside now. You can see his thermite grenade that he comes with that he can grip in his, in his one of his many included large gripping hands. Yeah, he can just hold it like this. And I will demonstrate for you now. You just... Ah, oh, come on, brother. Pop that hand out. It's as easy as popping a hand out and popping a hand in. I don't know why this has got to be so difficult. Actually, look at that, dude. What the heck? That was so hard, it's like destroying the paint already. But yeah, now he can hold his thermite grenade and threaten to throw it at you. He's like Shredder if he was Osama Bin Laden. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah, and for accessories, he comes with, pretty simple, he comes with fisted hands that come with him in the package, these big, or er, these semi-gripping hands, these little gripping hands, and then these big wide gripping hands for the thermocrate, which is funny because he doesn't come with any weapons, all he comes with is like this and the extra gauntlet, so like, he has all these extra weapon gripping hands, but there's nothing for him to grab, so um... Yeah, let's do some comparisons and wrap up the video. Here is him compared to your average 6 inch scale Marvel Legends. For him, I have the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Mark 47, I believe, Iron Man. Here is him compared to your average McFarlane Toys figure. Uh, here he is compared to my Covenant Spawn. Alrighty guys, thank you for tuning in to today's video. Glad you could make it. Uh, yeah, this figure is really good. I, en I enjoyed posing him and photo shooting him with my turtles. Very fun. Uh, update on the series. So, I'm afraid I can't really start it at the moment because there are some things that I need. Like, since stop motion, some figures have really wobbly limbs. So I need that, like, stiffening stuff. Also, I haven't gotten all the voice lines. Just a handful of stuff that I still need. But don't worry, it's still on its way and still going to be here already. Thank you for tuning in. Bob Comics out. Also, be sure to follow my Discord server. Link in the description.